Now you are on stage and how do you start your presentation? Think about your first sentence because most people they start telling the audience, hello, I'm Dr. Steven Wagner, I will talk about how to start a talk. Wrong way because you are already announced by the moderator with your name and your topic. They already know about you, what you will talk about. So avoid the repetition of a moderator's introduction. Some other people they talk about, ah well, um, I prepared my speech, but unfortunately my dog fell ill, I had to go to the doctor and so on. Uh, I didn't have time for my presentation, so I will just present my talk of last year. This is non-respectable against the audience. So avoid this by all means. Find your respect to the audience and prepare your talk, of course. And then I see many scientists say start, well, I'm Dr. Steven Wagner, I will talk about da da da. And then um, I start with the introduction of my talk. I will talk about the topic, about the theory of our project. And then I will show you the materials and methods, the results, and we will discuss the results. Afterwards, I talk about the conclusions and the outcome, the outlook into the future, into the bright future of our... Ah, come on, this is so, so usual, this is so average and you don't want to be average, you want to be special, you want to have a high level talk to your audience. How should they remember you? And therefore the first sentence, the introduction is the most important because then you can take your audience with you on a journey. For example, you could express a surprising thing, like you could say, less is more, the shorter our preparation time, the more effective we will work together. Wow, you can save time, you can work together more effectively. This is what people want to. So now you take them with, them, uh, with you on a journey during your talk. Of course, you have to prove your theory. Otherwise, there is no point. But now you've got your audience with you. You could also ask questions to your audience. For example, if you work in space research, you could ask who of you wants to travel to March by 2040? Raise your hand and probably there are some people who are interested in traveling to Mars in about 15 or 20 years or so. Now you've got them. Of course, you have to prove how you can enable people to travel to Mars by 2040. Or a more current topic is, who of you predominantly reads ebooks today? Again, it's related to the topic. There are some ebook readers for sure. And now you can talk about the do's and don'ts, the advantages, disadvantages, whatever. Take them with you on a journey. Of course, you could also share a personal story which, which brings you towards your talking topic, about your speech topic and so on. So think about the first sentence instead of apologizing, instead of repeating something, instead of talking about things which do not have anything to do with your talk. So the first sentence is yours. And my question to you is, what is your first sentence?